The challenge was raised for students of Stratford University School of Culinary Arts and Hospitality to develop a new recipe using mint kissed simple syrup. Susan Martinson, founder of Keep It Simple Syrup, joins us to explain. Susan, it's great to have you back. Thank you, it's great to be here. By now, a lot of folks are familiar with KISS, with Keep It Simple Syrup. Yeah. We've got it here in front of us. Um, this was your brainchild. When did you start the company? About uh, two years ago. Two I, years ago. Yeah, I, uh, I was making a mojito one day at home and I decided to t take a shortcut and threw the mint in the simple syrup and there it was. <laughs> you know, it, uh, you think, well, simple syrup is simple enough to make, but the challenge comes in that you're often pressed for time mm -hmm. and you have a recipe and it says make the simple syrup and you gotta let it cool. Yes, and that takes time. It's, it's an easy enough product to make, but this is convenient. Um, also because the fresh mint is put into the simple syrup when it's hot, it steeps it so that actually saves another step of having to have the fresh mint and clean it and muddle it and cut it up. So um, it's, it's a convenience and it's high quality. Yeah, Natu natural too, great, fla great flavor, no weirdo aftertaste. No, exactly. And you know, I looked at a lot of the flavoring syrups and the mixers on the market and they were filled with artificial ingredients and there's really no reason to put them in there. It's just, it, you have to use the, the right ingredients and package it correctly. So. I was determined to make it all natural. So we've got KISS, KISS has been out and it's doing well. Mm -hmm. And now you've mounted this challenge mm -hmm. for some students to use it in a different way. Yes, I went to the um, director of the Stratford University Culinary Program, that's Chef Ben Howell, and I asked him if I could donate a case so that the students could use that to play around with recipes. And he said, well, why don't we take it one step further? Why don't we challenge them to come up with recipes um, using your product and we decided on two different categories, sweet recipes and savory recipes. And I hear often from people that there's a lot more than you could do with this than just make cocktails. And I'm, I'm always looking for great suggestions. So this was the perfect, perfect opportunity to get real chefs in training to, to put it to use. And I was absolutely floored with the, uh, with the dishes that they came up with. Yeah, you raise a great point because you think, oh, it's, it's a mixer, I'm gonna use it in a beverage. You could have it in hot cocoa or a mint julep or mm -hmm. all these things, but you actually had uh, budding students put it in main dishes. Yes, yes. I think because people see this in the ABC store in the mixer section, they, they, they think of it just as a mixer, but it was, it was a great opportunity to, uh, to see what they could do with it. And uh, we'll see some examples in a little bit. And, uh, I think you'll be amazed as well. We have two chefs with us today. Uh, these both uh, young ladies were first place winners. We have Chelsea Barrett and she made a spearmint glazed corned beef and that of course was in savory and then the sweet dish was Michelle Rateau and that's a cucumber lemon kissed spa refresher. Yes, yes. And we had some great alternatives as well, a raspberry mojito, a pound cake and we had a wonderful ice cream that Chelsea made as well. She made a vanilla uh, orange spearmint ice cream, which was delicious. So it was really a tough choice. Um, there was there were some mushrooms also. Uh, the savory dish that Michelle made was a red quinoa, and she poached the mushrooms in the in the syrup. So they did a great job at at overall kiss impact, which was one of the elements that they were being judged upon. Um, you mentioned being very surprised with some of those savory uh, options. Did it really kind of spark that entrepreneurial uh, thing for the students when you put this out there? I think so. I think uh, I, I saw a lot of them um, getting very excited about using a new product and I'm sure quite a few of them have products in their own mind about you know something that they want to get on the on the market one day. So this is this was a great chance for them to see it evolve just a bit. Fantastic. Well, a terrific time saver KISS is and, you know, continues to be popular. I like to, you've got the big one and the little one. Little one, you know, you can do some st fun stuff with that too. Yeah. The little one tends to be good for people who haven't tried it before or if you want to give a gift to somebody, it's a great idea, especially if it's somebody who's um, creative in the kitchen. They can come up with great uses as well. Um, if you're hosting a party or if you're cooking any of these wonderful recipes, you probably want to go with the larger one. All right, Susan, yeah. thanks for being with us. Thank you. Yep, still more to come. The first place winners are going to join us. You can learn more about the Keep It Simple Syrup. We'll have a link on WTVR.com slash VTM for all of those winning recipes. But stay where you are. We're talking with first place prize winners, Chelsea Barrett and Michelle Rateau. They're going to take us through the steps to creating their delicious first place prize winning recipes. We'll be right back as Virginia This Morning continues right after this break. A cucumber lemon kissed spa refresher and a spearmint glazed corned beef. 
actually have a lot in common. They're both first place prize winners in The Dish with a Richmond Kiss, Chelsea Barrett and Michelle Rateau recently took home top honors for their creations. Congratulations and thanks for joining us, ladies. We okay. appreciate having you here. Thank You're you welcome. so much. Yeah. Great to be here. We were talking with Susan Martinson, mm -hmm. creator of Kiss earlier in the show, and she had a competition and she laid down the gauntlet and said, okay, I've got mint flavored, spearmint flavored, simple syrup, and I want some different spins on it. And you two rose to the challenge. Yes, I think I was the first one to sign the list for it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you came in with this uh, prize winning corn beef, ultimately was the prize winner, but Chelsea, you don't usually think of mint and corn beef. How did that come together? Well, my father gave me the idea because I was sitting around trying to think of which meat to use and how to use it. And he was like, the best beef to use for it is corned beef. So I used that and I said, well, I will use it inside of the glaze. So I made the glaze and I put it on top of the meat and it came out so perfect the first time and I, I, it was done. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it came, I don't know how it all came together for us, like measurements because I'm not that good with it. But, um, <laughs> It came together so perfect and I fell in love with it and that's what I decided to roll with. You so. knew you you knew yeah. it was a prize winner from the start. Yeah, mm -hmm. I kind of was telling myself I got this in the bag, but you know, <laughs> but everybody was a winner and I was so happy that everybody rose to the point to do it. Well, you won the savory category and Michelle, you won the sweet category. Mm -hmm. What did you create? Um, this is a cucumber, uh, lemon kiss ball refresher. I just wanted a, an alternative to a soda drink, something that was, you know, really sweet, like after you worked out really hard or had a hot day at the beach or whatever. I just wanted something that I could just, you know, sip that wasn't overly sweet, um, that's refreshing. You know, an alternative to soda, basically. How did you put this together? Um, I love cucumber mm -hmm. and, and water. So what I did is just combined um, lemon, because that's very refreshing as well, and cucumber, both very healthy. And I just combined it with the syrup and the mint, which, you know, kicked it up a notch and topped it off with some club soda. Do you have one you're taking us through the steps on here you want to show us? Absolutely. Okay, what I um, did, for first of all, you want to just go ahead and take some um, mint and a cucumber. Mm -hmm. Fresh so mint leaf. when it's all cut up and put <laughs> together in front of you there, isn't And just it? take a couple, yes it is, and just take a, a couple of fresh mint leaves. Okay. And then I muddle that a little bit in the glass just to kind of get the juices flowing. And I like that, you know, you're just using a scooper to muddle. I get a little yes. hung up and think, oh, I don't have a muddler, I can't <laughs> It's do this. okay. Yeah. Yes, definitely. This is actually a coffee scooper, but um, so you can go ahead and just kind of muddle that a little bit. Okay. And then I add um, just a couple of uh, teaspoons or one tablespoon full of the syrup. And all that muddling is doing is just really releasing the flavor. It's releasing the flavor, yes, exactly. Okay. And about a tablespoon out. of the syrup. Okay. Or more to taste depending on what size glass you have. Mm -hmm. um, you can add a little bit more or less to taste. And you can just muddle that a little bit more if you like and just okay. kind of incorporate. Uh, and then really you're kind of just that. home free from there. You have some ice. Absolutely. And so just you can just add your ice <clears throat> to that. Terrific. Oh, throw your cucumber uh, over no. the side. It's fine. <laughs> Make it a wild party. They fly. It's, a, it's a refreshing drink. You know, you got to just is. let it fly. Yeah. Definitely. Totally fine. Okay. So really easy to put together. You're going to finish that up. And, <clears throat> and Michelle, you are a full-time student. And as you were telling student. me, you're studying uh, ultimately to be a food stylist, yes. which is interesting. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Or, you know, uh, to do something with nutrition or, um, you know, wellness. So well. that refresher fits right in there. Yes, it does. Should I have yes, a taste? Nice healthy alternative. Just sure, see where we absolutely. are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cheers to your first place win. Thank you. Thank you on that. <laughs> Yes, refreshing, we can vouch for that. <laughs> and Chelsea, you also are a full-time student. We talked about the spearmint uh, glazed corned beef, mm -hmm. a different spin. You're studying to be a chef and open, open your home, uh, baker. own bakery, mm -hmm. ultimately. Yes. So you have a little bit of a different spin on it being an entree, but that's okay, that's <laughs> the creativity was flowing. How did you actually take us through the steps of putting together your glaze? Well, I have a cup of the spearmint, the spearmint glaze. And what I do is I add this. I do also have chopped mint inside the bowl that I chopped. It is pretty finely chopped too. Yes. And then you just go ahead and add the... Uh... I add the spearmint. Mm -hmm. And I also measured out two tablespoons of mustard. Okay. You can use any like Heinz mustard, you know. I don't, you know. <laughs> Your favorite mustard. Yes. I love it's it. interesting. That's really an interesting mix because the sweet, simple syrup and the mustard that kind of offsets. You start getting a sweet and sour 
mustard thing going on. Mm -hmm. And then I also have the, I have crushed, the fresh okay. black pepper. I love to use, I don't like to use the ground pepper that's already ground in the container. Crushed pepper makes all the difference when you just start grinding right. it. Mm -hmm. And then I just mix it okay. until it gets well incorporated. Okay. So the mustard is all blended in. Yum. And now how far in advance do you need to make that, Chelsea? Um, I normally make it while the meat is, is boiling. Mm -hmm. That way when it comes out, I can go ahead and prepare my dish and just glaze it and put it in the oven and just have to glaze for like 15 minutes then you go back and rebaste it okay. for 15 more minutes. Okay. But that's, that's pretty much it. That's great. So in keeping with everything being uh, you know, timely and saving time with the simple syrup, you can just put this together right before you're ready to mm -hmm. use it. It, it. it cuts out the prep time. You mm -hmm. get it done ahead of time. You get it done before you put the meat on or after you, you, you get ready to put it in the oven. But it cuts out a whole lot of time. All right. Because the meat takes a lot of time itself. It's three hours cook. Well, Chelsea Barrett, congratulations on your first place Thank win. You. Michelle Rateau, thanks for being Thank with you. us. Yeah. Yeah. Big wins. Thank you both for being here and sharing these prize winners. And now you have the chance to try these on your own. You'll find a link to the full list of winning recipes on our site, wtvr.com slash VTM. Right now, we're going to send it over to you. I'm hungry.